the next thing we want to do is we want the list to get updated when we pick up a new weapon. And it kind of it's pretty easy. What we can just do is we can go to the dropper in the node here and the item picked up signal. Now the player is already checking that it picked up an item. Uh, we can also connect that item picked up signal to our weapon selector. So let's do that. Now item picked up is gonna send us a packed scene. Are we handling? Sure, we'll call it item scene. And when they, so when they pick up an item, now also the weapon selector will know about it and we can just add weapon here. Whatever weapon was picked up. Now we don't have any logic in here in case the item is not a weapon. Again, I'm going to leave that for kind of a <laughs> extra project or something if you want to try and do that. So we'll add a weapon here. It will instance it. It'll add the item to the list. And it'll already get equipped because the player is going to do that when it receives this signal as well. Just like it was before. So let's see what happens here when we get it. Oh, there we go. Look, we got two shotguns. Okay. I don't know if we want two shotguns. What's the next weapon? Oh, we got three shotguns. Okay. Oh, and I tried to uh, cycle through them with E. All right, we get an error here. Invalid index two on base array. And that's because we don't actually add the weapon we pick up to the weapon inventory array. We add it to the item list, but we don't actually add it to the array. So we should do that in add weapon here. But we don't want to add it if it's one of our starting weapons, which is also going to call the add weapon method here in ready. Right, so let's just make sure it's not already in the the weapon inventory array. So we can go if not weapon scene in weapon inventory. So if it's not in the inventory, then let's add it. So we'll go weapon inventory dot append. And what do we want to append? The weapon scene. Okay, so that should prevent us from getting that error, hopefully. So we go pick up this other one, and then I'm gonna hit E, and then I hit E again. <laughs> and of course, uh, it doesn't work because the shotgun scene is already in the inventory, so it's not actually adding it here. So the other piece we need to do, we don't wanna add duplicates anyway, so we need to make sure here before we add the weapon, we can check if not, is duplicate, which is a method we'll write. And then we'll pack, pass it the item scene, the item scene. If it's not a duplicate, then we'll add the weapon. Uh, so we gotta create this function. We'll do it above our signal receivers here. We're gonna accept a item scene. Actually, at this point, we're just going to be dealing with weapons. We can check if it's a weapon, but I'm not going to bother because I don't have anything else. But if you're going to try and implement something else, I'm going to call this the new weapon scene. And the first thing we'll have to do is instantiate it. So now we want to check each of our items in the weapon inventory and make sure it's not already there. So we can do that by going through all the weapon scenes in the inventory. For weapon scene in weapon inventory. Can I spell inventory? We'll have to start by instancing it. I guess I call it weapon here. Equals weapon scene dot instance. And then what we can do is we can go if weapon dot gun name equals new weapon dot gun name. So we're looping through, <laughs> like I said, in a bit of a hacky way, uh, through by instantiating each of the scenes in our weapon inventory. You can think of a more efficient way if this was a bigger game and you were worried about optimizing it. You could you could save the names of each of the weapon inventories in a 
you know, different array to compare here if you wanted to. But this is going to work for us, I think. So if we do find it, we're going to return true, so there is a duplicate. And if we don't find it at the end of that loop, we'll return false. And let's check if that solves our error. So we're going here, and I'm going to hit E, and then E again. Oh, it worked. Look, no duplicates. Cool. Not bad. Uh, so one thing you'll notice is I picked up the shotgun here, but it still shows me as having the pistol. So when we do that check for a duplicate, we do want to change which item is selected. And as well, if you pick up a new item, you're going to want to have that selected in the item list as well. So there's a few little changes we can do here. Uh, one of them here is, so in the code we just write, if we do find a duplicate, we are going to want to use that select, but we need to pass it an index, which we don't have. So we're going to actually have to track in our loop here what the index is. So we'll set it to zero, and then so the first time through this loop, it'll be the zeroth inventory. And then if we make it to the next item in the loop, we can increment that index. And so now when we pick up a new item, there you go, it selected it. Now it won't select it if it's an actual new item, which maybe we should add an actual new item here. So we'll go to Let's go to our woo, levels. There we go. Level generator, generated levels. And we'll go to nav map one. And then, so wave one here, we have a shotgun. Wave two, we have another shotgun. Let's switch that to maybe an Uzi. Actually, just to keep it quicker, we'll go, we'll change the first drop item to an Uzi here. Good. And we'll just. What did I wreck? Save that. Oh, <laughs> nav map's not a scene that I can play. An interesting one anyway. There we go. Uh, Uzi did not select the Uzi though. So, if we go back to the weapon selector here, oops, the weapon selector script, we'll want to go up to this add weapon method. Now, if we're adding the weapon here, we already know it's not a duplicate, it's getting added. So let's set the selection in that item list. So here we can go self.select again. And since we've just added a new item, it's just going to be the last item in the list. So we can go back and get that, what is it, get item count, which is just the number of items. But because the indexes are zero, start at zero, we're going to subtract one there. Otherwise, we'll go off the end. So now when we go get that Uzi, should actually select it. So there's the pistol, there's the Uzi, and boom, it selected it. Yeah. Okay. And this shouldn't cause an error. Nope. And it picked up the shotgun and switched over to it. That's cool. Suicide. So let's uh, let's check if we can get all the weapons, if they all work uh, quickly here. What's the fastest way of doing this? So if we go back up to our levels, let's go up to nav map one. We have wave one. Let's do one enemy each. So there's the Uzi. Wave two, one enemy. Wave two, let's drop a, what's after the Uzi? We have the rifle. And then we'll duplicate that. And now we'll have the fully auto rifle. And we'll duplicate that. And then we'll have the 50 cal. That should be all our weapons. So you get two options to start with. Whoopsie. We're going to have to play the game scene. Start with a pistol. Got the got the Uzi. Oh boy. There's the three round burst. Here's the full auto. Oh, that name's not good. And we got the 50 cal. Oh, we don't quite have enough room. Oh, we'll have to change those, mar adjust those margins. And also maybe the difference between rifle and fully auto, not super helpful there. So let's just tweak that. So in our VBox container, we're at separation 70. Let's just change that to 65, it should be enough. And then in the fully auto rifle, 
we'll just call this rifle and then I'm going to put auto and then for the other one I'll put rifle and I'll put burst like that and also for the 50 cal instead of saying 50 caliber I'll just say 50 cal and I'll quickly try all that again to make sure it works I'll skip through this for you so we can either reduce the size of that text or make the size of that section bigger oh boy okay <laughs> uh, it looks like we should probably just make that bigger since we don't have a background it doesn't really matter so let's go to the weapon selector and then in the uh, in the rect we said 200 let's change it to 250 hey, what the heck let's just change it to 300 it's got no background so there we go okay uh, the last thing I'd like to add is I'd like to be able to use the number keys one two three four five six uh, on your left hand if you're using WASD to move around to quickly switch to different numbers so in our weapon selector here what we need to do if we want that is we want to add a number in front of the weapon name so you know actually which number on the keypad to push so here in our add weapon where we add it as weapon dot gun name instead We'll create a new variable called text. Now when you're adding a new weapon, it's gonna go on the end of the list. So all, we can just get the length of the weapon inventory at this point. You could also get the self.item count. And then we'll add a colon with a space maybe. And then we'll add the weapon.gun name. And so here when we add the item, instead we'll just add this text. Now let's see how that looks. Two, two. Well, that didn't work. So we actually do want the item count string. What do you think? Yay, look, zero, one, oh, we want it. And then just make sure we get this one. It adds to two, good. But we want, we don't want zero. Zero's too far away for our left hand here. So let's go item count plus one. One, two, good. Now I just want to be able to hit two on the keypad up there and switch my weapon. So we'll probably do that here in the input just above. And instead of using an action, I'm going to do it the cheap way. We'll check if the event is an input event key. So if a key was pressed, uh, or if it's an input event key and the key was pressed, then we can do something based on which key it is. So let's do that. Let's go, let's actually just create a match. And what we'll do to get the key is use you use event.scan code. It's all one word, scan code. And then the scan codes are, here we go. These are uh, global constants here, uh, a global enum. So if it's key one, then what? What do we want to do? We actually want to set the index to zero, the index of our item list. So we should create a var new index here. And I'm gonna set it equal to null, and that maybe that's will allow us to check it just in case nothing is pressed. So I'm going to tip here, if you're pasting on the end of something like this, then you want to copy right up until the end above it, like there. So you get that little first enter. <laughs> and then when you click here, you can just go boom, 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 and you don't have to do any resetting. Okay, so we're gonna have two, three, four, five, six. And this is just gonna be one more than that. Because this is the index. Now, after the match, we can just check if new index does not equal null. And we should also check <laughs> that they didn't press um, a number higher than number of items. We don't need to do that because we're only setting up to five. Oh, actually, there not, might not be all five weapons in the list yet, right? So I know it's that little typo right there. I had a five. At the beginning, there's only index 0 and 1 if they have the pistol and the shotgun. So we have to make sure hitting 3 doesn't cause an error here. So we'll go and new index is less than, we'll have to get the it, get item count. 
and we want less than because of course new index the index is zero indexed okay so they hit a key everything's good then let's select it self dot select new index uh, and so you select it but now you actually want to equip it right so the easiest way to do that so we'll need this signal here we can call it that uh, item selected signal is not triggered with the select method only when you click it with them only when you click this the items with a mouse is that signal sent so we're gonna have to call it ourselves and it's gonna take an index is that right index yes okay so let's try that oh 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 closing bracket this time okay so I'm gonna hit two oh, oh one boom nice let's get the Uzi and make sure the Uzi works three good so now I'm gonna hit like four and five no bugs no errors oh, I think we made it I think yes yes right on folks thanks for watching hope you found it useful Hehehehe <laughs>